Hi, I'm Julia. In this video, we're taking a look at the image galleries of Notion and Tagbox. As you can see, I've already uploaded some furniture images to this workspace in Notion. Now to add a tag, I'll click these three dots, edit property and tags. Let's add the tag couch. Now I have many images of couches in this workspace, but let's say one time I choose to use the word sofa instead. So unfortunately, Notion doesn't recognize that couch and sofa are actually the same thing and lets me add the tag sofa as well. Now I have two tags that mean the same thing, which can get a little bit confusing. Let's try the search bar instead. And if we search for couch, it looks like the only images that come up are the images tagged with couch and with couch in the file name. Again, this is pretty unfortunate since I have so many other images of couches as well. Now let's head over to Tagbox. I'll start by uploading a couple images to this workspace. Now that our images have uploaded, let's take a look at the tags. So these are the tags that the app has automatically assigned these images. If I'd like to add more tags, I can choose from the list of suggested tags, or I can add a tag manually. Speaking of adding tags manually, Tagbox has your back. If you try to add a tag with a typo, or that is a synonym of an existing tag, it will stop you with a did you mean pop up. Let's give it a try. I'll add the tag sofa to this image. And a did you mean pop up emerges asking if I'd really like to create a new tag sofa or if I'd like to use my existing tag couch. Now let's finish upload. To add more tags, I can click on this yellow icon. To filter through my images, I can click on my tags or I can use the search bar, which not only searches tags and file name, but also in the image, for example, plant. Notion certainly has some great features, but when it comes to image gallery, Tagbox is a bit more user friendly with its did you mean pop-ups and automatic tagging. Thanks so much for watching this video and happy tagging.